Okay guys, this is Aishan TV Studios and we will take a look at the Sony SB-S20 Bluetooth slash wireless slash NFC headset. Now this is the first try from Sony in their NFC or Bluetooth uh, wireless device. Uh, now this device is priced at $2,299 which is a fair price. Then you look at the device, the device is quite small and is very colorful. You have 5 colors available in this device. At the back you have a clip so that you can connect or attach it to your uh, everyday shirts or your formal dress. You can take a look at some of the contents and box of the device itself. You also get an earphones which is standard and you get the separate earbuds for the color you chose. So let's quickly do the review treatment of this device. This device being small, you can carry it with uh, everywhere you go and it's quite simple to connect. Uh, take a look at the ports, you have a 3.5mm audio jack, we are going to plug your earphones or your headphones. Now the standard earphones you get with the Sony SPS20 are not as good as expected. I thought that it would be a Sony thing, uh, the earphones might be good but they are just a piece of shit. They are useless earphones, but still, a presence of the 3.5mm audio jack, you can connect any of those earphones or headphones you like. So, I am currently connecting the AirPods. The clip at the back of the SBS20 is very useful when you are carrying. Here you can take a look at the uh, micro USB port, and Sony claims that this device has a battery life of 72 hours, but According to me, when I fully charged this device up, the battery life was about 4 days and each day I listened to approximately 4 hours of music. So when you look at the buttons, you have the play pause button, you can also pick up the call from here and here you have a secondary microphone if you connect it to the Bluetooth or NFC and you want to make calls. You have the forward and the rewind button. Uh, this device is NFC enabled so you can just tap on the NFC enabled device to listen to the music and connect it to your device. Uh, at the top of the device you have the volume rockers which are standard. Now let's quickly connect this SBS20 to a separate device to listen to some music. The connection is very simple if you connect it to any device which is Bluetooth enabled. NFC is more simple than Bluetooth if you just tap. But currently I don't have an NFC enabled device with me, so I'm gonna start with Bluetooth. Now first of all, turn on the Bluetooth of your device and second thing you can do is switch this thing on. Now here you can see the button, after you, you switch on this button, you can see a green light over here. Now this enables the Bluetooth of this device and it is connected if you are paired if or to any phone or your iPod. Now I'm going, gonna connect an earphones. Uh, these are basically the earpods which I'm gonna connecting now. So let's quickly connect it. So you can see there is no music playing on this device. I'm gonna just quickly tap on play. So I think the music must have been playing. Yes, you can take a look at it is playing. You can also change the volume. The volume is separate on both the devices, so you cannot change the volume on this one. But you can put the volume on zero to mute this device. So I'm gonna quickly do it to largest, and you can take a look at the extruding voice of the earphones itself. It is for the microphone. It is quite large. Earpods are basically amazing earphones. So you can just forward your music from here. I'm gonna show you that. So it's doing quite well. So I'm gonna not be showing you the NFC tutorial now because I don't have an NFC enabled device. I told you that. I'm gonna just quickly pause. Uh, now taking a look at some of the disadvantages is uh, you have to carry this thing along with the earphones itself so you have a bunch of wires and you can take a look at some of the alternatives including the Pantronix and Sony headset. The advantage with this is that you can connect any earphone and this can work also a new type of device that you can convert any speaker and connect it to the aux cable to a bluetooth speaker. 
uh, this is the advantage I found it and it worked quite well so this was my quick review over the Sony SPX20 now what's your opinion if I missed something just comment down below subscribe to our channel and just stay tuned thanks for watching this video